Everybody has about 22,000 genes, distinct portions of the DNA that makes up life's blueprint. Trailblazing research on one Utah family is helping to unlock key information about rare diseases. John Daly tells us it could help spark breakthroughs about common ones. Bruce and Dini, very few of us can actually say that we've done something that's never been done before, but one Utah family can lay claim to that distinction, though it's been a mysterious journey getting there. Move over, George Washington, Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay, Neil Armstrong and Sandra Day O'Connor. Heather and Logan Madsen and their family recently joined the list of famous first two. Remarkable when you consider their journey. Yes, I've always wondered what it was. It has been a lifelong question. 33 years we lived without answers. Both were born with a rare disease, Miller syndrome, which causes birth defects of the face and limbs. Logan is a painter, Heather a writer, but everyday challenges are considerable. My hands are smaller and my arms are shorter uh, and my shoulders are rotated in and it affects my hearing. Um, and it affects my rib cage. The pair were also born with PCD, a rare disorder afflicting the lungs. The odds both would be born with both, less than one in 10 billion. Neither parent had either disease. Everyone is curious, and the first thing they ask is, well, do you know what caused it? And we always had to say, no, we don't know what caused it. Years later, Debbie remarried, this time a University of Utah geneticist named Lynn Jordy, who wondered if he and his team of researchers could learn more. You can't develop therapies if you don't know what's wrong. The idea that scientists map the DNA of Heather Logan, their father, and Debbie. After consulting with an ethicist to make sure all four were comfortable, they took the plunge and soon had answers. I do enjoy being especially unique. Yes, we finally know that it's a genetic cause and that it's a much simpler explanation when we tell people, yeah, it's, it's genetic, this is how it's passed down. I am uh, coming around to accepting everything. Acceptance is a big, is, it's a big thing. It's a historic first, the first family to have all their genes mapped, raising new questions. Could it be misused? Will it be misunderstood? Promising potential breakthroughs. I think it's very possible that within the next decade, uh, many, maybe even most people, will have their genomes sequenced. And giving a mom who wrote a book about it and her kids comfort. When they told us that they found the gene, I got tears of happiness in my eyes. And satisfaction in knowing they were special. To put a stamp in the book, you know, to put a bookmark in, in, in history and in, in science is a big deal. Like suddenly I belong to the whole mankind. It's like, okay, it's just Mother Nature working things out. In the next few years, it's likely to cost $1,000 or less to map your DNA. That idea has its critics, but others believe it could revolutionize medical diagnosis and treatment. Doctors, for example, could predict diseases years before symptoms occur. In Salt Lake City, I'm John Daly, KSL 5 News. Wow, so you can see this study could have amazing benefits for all of us. Even though most mutations have no consequence for child's health, knowing the rate at which parents pass on mutations to their offspring is critical. It could help researchers eventually understand the causes of diseases like diabetes, various cancers, and heart disease.